Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Roel Coley wants to build bridges between the right-wing rioters and the liberal left through his comedy, and it's actually working. Hailing from Newcastle, the comedian actually changed the stance of an EDL member during his show, Roel Coley, Roel Britannia, at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival earlier this week. We had an EDL supporter in from Sunderland, Roel explains in a chat with usnews.co.uk at the Scottish Arts Festival. A woman who was flyering the show handed him a poster and he said, I like the title, and she was like, where are you from? He replied Sunderland, and that he's in the EDL. While you would think at the Edinburgh Fringe, probably the most proudly socially progressive event in the UK, this wouldn't go down too well. Roll's flyer promised the EDL member he would enjoy the show. If not, she vowed to buy him and his friend a pint. Ballsy, they came out of the show and she asked, did you enjoy it? He said, yeah, it's changed my opinion on a number of things, explains Raoul. Then he brought her a beer. It's a modern day fairy tale, but Raoul is unconvinced it will survive in the world outside the love bubble that is the Edinburgh Fringe. I'm not sure how much of a difference it will make because how often do we get the space in our consciousness to just stop and think, reflect and change an opinion. He might think about it a little bit, but then go home, go on Twitter, and his algorithm will reconfirm all his worst prejudices. Then he'll forget about my show and fall back into that way of thinking. For over 10 years, Raul has been trying to change minds via the stage through his nuanced approach to political comedy. But now his goal is more important than ever, as we saw over the past month when violent racially motivated riots broke out across the UK. But while stopping the inevitable political division may seem futile to Raul, he won't stop trying. The show is not just for liberal theater audiences. It's trying to change minds and win hearts, essentially, he says. I grew up in the Northeast, I know what the crack is there. I've been cutting my teeth in a lot of these towns and in working men's clubs. Some of these people I'm performing to might have sympathy with the rioters or riot themselves. I'm always trying to find middle grounds, he adds. There has to be some sort of human story as to why they got to a particular opinion that maybe makes me feel threatened or I disagree with. It's not often that the comedy world caters quite so well for both sides of the political dial, especially not at the biggest open liberal arts festival in Europe. Here, comedy is a campaign as much as it is a celebration. Raoul is performing his Edinburgh Fringe show every day at 6.30 p.m. until August 25th in Just the Tonic at Cabaret Voltaire. Tickets here. In general at the Edinburgh Fringe, people like to stick in their own groups. It's like, everyone who voted Brexit is thick and racist, they're wrong. I voted Remain, but I know a lot of people who voted for Brexit and I wouldn't necessarily call them racist. Raul says, before quipping with a chuckle, well, some of them are thick, but many of these people are not stupid, Raul points out. Many of them are Raul's family members, friends, and people he grew up with. One white working class man who used to babysit Raul, and is constantly commenting with supportive messages on his social media, shared a disgusting joke a few years ago, which compared immigrants to a brown, smelly, dog who has asterisk asterisk ts, wherever they want. I couldn't believe it, says Raul. I remember him as such a lovely guy, he never said anything racist. My parents trusted him implicitly, you wouldn't leave your kids with someone you didn't trust. He was the loveliest, man, but Raul doesn't choose to hold on to the joke. He chooses to remember the kindness the man showed him as a child and how much he still loves him now. If I saw him we'd have a discussion and maybe I could change his opinions on why you don't share that sort of stuff, Raul says. While it's very easy to go, you're wrong, I'm not engaging with you anymore. If you tell that to enough people, suddenly they find themselves in the waiting arms of someone else who has been called racist. The next thing you know there's more of them than there are of us. He gives an example of an old woman posting her views after seeing a